Hey, uh, how about me next, Pulaski? Oh, sure, we get time before the lieutenant gets back. Hey, Pulaski, don't take too much off the side. Yeah, sure. Yeah, last guy cut mine took too much off the top, too. Hey, Kirby, don't blame the barber now. <laughs> hey, Sarge, did the lieutenant tell you anything about the mission? No, I just thought it was something special. Hey, a guy was telling me about a good deal he had once. He was escorting a bunch of them USO chicks around. <laughs> <laughs> Who you gonna know to get a job like that, Sarge? You were so chicks. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this is Sergeant Keeley. Sergeant Saunders? Hi. Cage? Little John, Kirby, Pulaski. What's the mission, Sergeant? Escorting me and my pigeons. <laughs> hey, hey, we wanted some chicks and we got pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> Pigeon service? Well, look, are they kidding? What is this, some kind of joke? No joke, Kirby. You and the pigeons are going to be infiltrating deep behind enemy lines. You'll be working in an area that's crawling with crowds. Sergeant? Saunders? And Mick Morrow. Guest star, Neville Brand. Service, U.S. Army Signal Corps. It's a pretty big name for a bunch of little birds, isn't it? Hey, I wonder if they'd like some K rations. Do you think so? Yeah. Come on, let's go feed them. Okay. Hey, Polly wants a cracker? Come on down. Come on. There you go. Come on. Come on, there's nothing to be afraid of now. Come on. Come on, Tuffy, bring them all down. Here. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Now, you see, there's nothing to be afraid of at all, is there? That's enough. Give me a kiss. Come on. Come on. Come on, we'll go inside. Come on. You had quite a little scare there, didn't you, huh? Come on, we'll 
We'll go inside. Come on, now don't be afraid, Tuffy. Don't be afraid. Nobody's gonna bother you anymore. Come on, get inside. Down, Frenchie. Come on. All right, White Wing. Come on down. Come on. Come on down, Herman. Come on, Herman. Talks to those pigeons like they were people. escorting me and the pigeons. That's all. Keep your hands off them. All right, Keeley. You've made your point. Let's get on with the briefing. Yes, sir. You stay here, Maxwell. Ready to pull out. Stay away from those pigeons, huh? All right, here, right across the river, about three, four hundred yards in, the crowds are building something. Could be a V-2 rocket site, uh, underground ammo depot, anything. They're thick woods, AA guns all around. Our recon planes can't get in low enough to take pictures. His pigeons are going to try and do the job. No wisecrack, Sergeant? How does the pictures work, Lieutenant? This is an idea we borrowed from the Krauts. I'll give you the details later. It's the first time we've ever tried it. He's been training his birds for months. That's right. You won't carry any radio equipment. It would make it too easy for the Krauts to spot your position. If you want to send messages, one of my birds will bring him back here to the law. Any questions? Lieutenant, there's one thing I want to get straight right now. Anything having to do with those birds, I give the orders. And no arguments. All right, Keeley. Uh, anything having to do with the birds, you give the orders. wants this experiment to work, so uh, take it easy with him. Right, Lieutenant. Do stomp on them? I said careful. All right, I'll help you with those cages. Never mind. Little John, stash the truck in those trees over there.
cigarette? No, I don't smoke. Bothers the pigeons. If you're going to smoke, stand off the windward. Where are you from, Keeley? Regular Army. Wherever I'm stationed, that's where I'm from. Been along? Yep. These pigeons are really something, huh? Yeah. People could take a lesson from them. Yeah. How young do they have to be before you start training them? Plug Saunders. You don't have to make conversation. I got the truck stashed away, Sarge. What about these pigeons? Want a hand? Well, I'll take White Wing and Tuffy here. You take these. And watch. Sure. Hey, uh, if them birds has been trained for war with, uh, with guns going off and everything, how come they got so upset when we was just laughing and talking around their coop? Well, they don't like noise and strangers in the loft because that's where their home nest are. And I like some human beings. It's like order, quiet, decency in the place they live in. Okay, let's go. Got the ridge up there. All right, take five. What's that, the camera sergeant? Yep. When we get to the target, White Wing will fly over it, take the pictures, and fly home. Well, how's it work on a timing device? No. No timing devices. There's a little ball on the side of the camera here. And when the bird's in flight, the rush of the air through the little ball releases a lever at regular intervals, and that clicks the shutter. That's really something. Take it easy now. They're gonna do okay. <laughs> Get in there. All clear. All right, saddle up. Another half a mile will be in crowd territory. Don't bunch up and keep quiet. Let's go.
my pigeon. I'll try to work my way down. There will be loving another smoke bomb. The last one I got, Sarge. I'm gonna try to knock him out with some grenades. You gotta have that pigeon jockey, Sarge. He sure got guts. Is he dead? He's dying. Pulaski's alive and you left him out there? He's done for. Blue boy's dead. Speedy's dead. Buckle's leg is broken. You're worried about those pigeons Pulaski's laying out there? I told you Pulaski's done for. He's probably dead already. He was alive when you left him. Nothing would have helped him. He's got him. Get ready. Do you mind if I bury him?
I don't see nothing looks like a big Carl building job. You're not supposed to. It's probably right over there in those woods. All right, Keeley. Come on, boy. Time to do your stuff. Well, how's a bird supposed to know to take pictures on the other side of those trees? Don't bother me. Here you are, boy. Now you do the job, I'm gown on you, White Wing. Come on. Circles, that's all. They circle to get their bearings. Especially over a strange area. That's instinctive. I've trained them to expand and prolong their circling so... so we can get more pictures over a bigger area. Heading home. That crowd spotted him. I thought the Tobish was in. Is that the only camera? Yeah. All right, he got the pictures. Let's get the film before the crowd's still. We've gone far enough. We'll cut across right here. How do you know this is the place? I've been training for 16 years to calculate a thing like this. That's how. All right, keep your voices down. Come on, lead the way.
Amis. 325 Meter Westen. Why did you fire? We could have taken them. Now crowd headquarters knows we're here. I had to try and save White Lane. Get out of here and fast. Back across the river. Cage, the point. I didn't expect him to open up. Looks pretty bad. No, it's only a flesh wound. I'll be okay. We can't stop now. Just try to keep some pressure on it. Come on. As soon as we cross the river. You're gonna be all right. Good as new. Fix you up just as soon as we get home. Let's go. Sorry, you got through on the radio. Hey, wow, come with me. Let's just get put. Stream and down. And any place else is too deep to cross. Well, they'll be closing on us in the dark. Try it one at a time. It wouldn't work. They can match our cover fire and still pick us off. Yeah, what about a few grenades? We couldn't get within 50 yards. 
Oh, we need some artillery. Yeah, that would help. Wait a minute. The pigeons. Oh, no, you don't. No pigeons are flying out of here now. The crowds couldn't miss. We'll get out of here some other way. What other way? Now look, Saunders, you're not going to kill off any of my pigeons. Nobody's trying to kill them off. We just want to send one of them back with the film and a note calling for artillery fire. Tuffy wouldn't get a hundred yards in the air and they'd pick him off and you know it. Yes, he would if they were shooting at something else. Like what? I'll draw their fire. I'll go off on a flank. Now here, you put this camera on him. I draw the coordinates for the artillery. Now do it! Why isn't that camera on the bird? Because he's not going. Hanley laid it out to you straight. I make the decisions when it comes to the pigeons. And I'm not killing one of these birds for nothing. Now you listen to me, Killy. There are five men here. That's a lot stacked up against the pigeon's life. Pigeon's life? Well, let me tell you something. These birds mean just as much to me as you or any of these men in your squad. They're decent. They're loyal. And that's a lot more than I can say for a lot of people. I don't know what happened to you, Keely, or why. But you're not going to take it out on these men. Their lives are at stake. Now strap it on. That's an order. open up on me. You let him go. I got it. Killy. target. I wouldn't worry, sir. If they get near the target, those pigeons will bring back the film. I'm not worried about the pigeons flying over the enemy lines. My men have got to walk through them. Maybe so. But there's one thing your squad doesn't have to worry about, Lieutenant. What is it? Uh huh? Yep. He knows there's a pigeon off down here.
I'll get him. Last I saw him, he's gone over the treetops. How fast can he go? Well, if the crouch didn't wing him up to 70 mile an hour. It'll be dark in an hour. coming in. There, over that big tree, Lieutenant. Is he one of yours? I don't know yet, but he's headed this way. He's ours. Hawk!
How's little John? He's gonna be all right. 